Hey, this is John Cena, WWE Superstar and 15-time champ, and you are watching Miss WWE Fan 13. You can't see us. Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm sorry if I made a video in, like, shit, almost two weeks. Um, as you guys know, I have cancer, and my cancer is a blood cancer, and the chemo makes my immune system go to shit. So the normal flu that you guys get, that only lasts, what, maybe three days to a week, lasts me two weeks, and I got put in the hospital. So that's why I haven't been here. But a lot of you guys have been awesome. Uh, sent me messages on Instagram and Facebook saying if I'm okay. Um, so just want to thank you guys for being supportive. And also I got a badass new TV. It's huge. It's a smart TV. I love it. There's Casey. Can't really see her because she's black. But anyways, as you see in the title above, <clears throat> above that Heath Slater got arrested for rape, like attempt rape and like assault and battery. So, he, no, he didn't get arrested. He has a search warrant or he has a warrant out for his arrest. I mean, um, basically it was after WrestleMania 27, I believe. I'll have the link down below if you guys don't believe me about this. It was after WrestleMania 27 and it was the after party for WrestleMania 27. I guess for all the wrestlers. And they were at the Hyatt Regency and, um, Supposedly, the la the lady's name's uh, Corrine Oliver or something. That's her name. That she was working whatever wherever she works, and he Slater went up to her, put her in a chokehold, and tried to get her into the elevator. I guess to take her to a room or rape her in the elevator. I don't know. Um, and supposedly she broke five vertebrae in her spine. Um, reason why I call this bullshit. Like, I really think this is crap is because it was three years ago going on almost four years well like three years ago um, they say that the reason why she didn't file a complaint three years ago is because she thought her work would why would her work do it when she should is supposed to be the one doing it because she's the one that got attacked not her work and then supposedly also she tried to get a warrant a couple years ago, but it got declined. They're not going to decline an attempt rape or assault and battery, especially on a star. Like that's what they, like they always try to get the stars if they do something wrong. Look at the football players who did things wrong. I don't know their names, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The one that hit his girlfriend in the elevator and all those uh, football players. Um, even though he Slater's not to their star, um, I guess power. He's still a star. He's still someone. So, in my opinion, I think, even though, like I said, Heath Slater's not all up there yet, I honestly think that since he's getting a little bit of TV time, he's still relevant. I think she's just trying to get some fame out of this. Either money, or get him in jail, and that's gonna get him famous, or get her famous, or not famous, but just get them talking about her and attention. And then she'll obviously get money out of this either way. Um, so that's why I just find this bullshit. I really don't see... So I don't I don't know Slater, obviously. I've never met the guy. Um, I don't know much about him. He's not my friend or anything. You know, I don't know the dude. But I just don't feel that he did this. Because it's taken three years for this chick to do something about it. Three years. If that crap happened, she should have called the second she got escaped from him. If that actually did happen. So that's why I'm calling this crap, and I really don't believe this. Um, and I really hope Heath Slater's career is not tarnished and ruined because of this. Um, I hope WWE doesn't release him. Um, I honestly think Slater can have some kind of, maybe even just a mid-card career, if they actually make him. I, mean, I think honestly separate Slater Gator, not really liking it very much. But anyways, I just really hope his career doesn't get screwed up because of this stupid asshole trying to get money, in my opinion. Now, if he did it, well then fuck it. He needs to go to jail, pay up some money, do something. If he did it. But like I said, I really don't believe he did. So tell me what you guys think. The link is down below to the story. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully I'll have a video up tomorrow after, maybe before I go to class. Because I have class at 1.30. So, we'll see. And if you guys have a video that you want me to do, comment down below. I'm trying to take a break from my top five, whatever. Because I've done too many of those videos. Um, anything else new?
No, nothing else really new. Just new TV. Pretty awesome smart TV. Christmas coming up. Um, <clears throat> got some tickets that I'm going to do a ticket revealing. You know, that's probably what I'll do tomorrow. I just, I don't have the tickets with me. They're actually in San Antonio with my brother. But I'll ask him where we're sitting and then put up a map and you can see um, when, what city we're going to. I've been really off about what city we're going to. I was actually very confused on what city we were going to because it was either Corpus, Dallas, or Houston. So I told everyone different stuff because I was so confused at the time. But tomorrow will be the official where we're going. I already know now, but I'll let you guys know tomorrow. And then WWE is coming to Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is 30 minutes away. If you guys recall, last year I went with Lexi um, right after WrestleMania. This year, John Cena is coming to Las Cruces, so I'm psyched. He hasn't been here in three years, so it'll be awesome if I can get some front row seats. The tickets went on sale today, pre-code, but all the front row seats are gone, so I'm going to start looking online because if it's a show that's not on TV, I want to sit front row because, you know, they only come here once a year, so... If not, I'm going to try to get the best seats I possibly can. I have some in mind but that are pretty good too, but I want to find some front row, front row seats. So, yeah, that's really it. And, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up and comment right down below. And if you guys want to see some of my past videos or stay tuned for some of my future videos, just hit that subscribe button that's down below also. And that's it for this video, guys, so you can't see me.